I'm Jess from Offroad Between the Coast and this is my partner Nick. Say G'day hi. guys, how are we? Uh, so we are at Bribey Island today. Yes um, we are. Where are we going to go? Uh, well we've got a map here, so we are down at um, White Patch Access Track, so just here. So we're going to take the inland track up, we're going to head into Gallagher Point there. We'll uh, just go and sort of check out that uh, camping ground and uh, day use area. Uh, then we'll continue up to Poverty Creek. We'll cruise in there and have a look at that as well. Um, then we'll keep following all the way up the guts of the island up to the Lighthouse Reach. And we might even pull in there and, and set up and have a bit of morning tea. Then we'll head out onto the beach, out onto Ocean Beach. We'll check out uh, Fort Bribie. Um, and then we'll head south and we'll head all the way back down and we'll uh, come back down into Ocean Beach. Access at uh, Wurum, I think they say. So. Yeah, it's going to be a really good day, can't wait. It's been a couple of years since I've been out here to Robbie. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. What I'm excited. You, I'm excited. We used to... So, we are here and Nick is going to teach me how to deflate a tyre because we're going to go on sand, so it needs to be lower. Lower pressures, yeah. Lower pressure. Not road pressure. So, you've got road pressure and then you've probably got um, beach pressure as well or sand driving pressure. So. Normally in these tyres we run about 40 psi on the road and then when you hit the sand um, I usually drop them down to about 20 psi so we've just got a little tyre pressure gauge um, has a little knob on the back you can just put that into the valve and press that in and then we'll start the left hand of the area it takes a little while to... So I use that one? Yep, that's it Or that one to deflate? No, you use that little one there to deflate so just take the... Um... This one? Yep the cap off. I was told or I saw somewhere that usually people hold the cap in their teeth but then they saw someone peeing on the tyre and thought <laughs> I'm never doing that again. Well hopefully no one's peed on our tyre or a dog. <laughs> more dogs more than anything I think it is. Um, I sort of look just, you know, keep my eye on the tyre. I sort of know roughly. Like a tyre? No, when the, <laughs> when the bottom of the tyre starts to belly out a bit, you know, that's, I sort of know that's um, sort of where I'm around the right pressure. Yep, okay, now take that off. Hit that little button on top, use it at zero. Which one? See the little oh, silver? Yeah. yeah, it's at zero, so just chuck that on the tyre, the other end. Gotta push it on hard. Push it on hard. 21. Alright, so a little bit more. Alright, check that out. It's the button. You gotta push it on hard onto the valve and hold it on there. Twenty and a half. Keep going. Go down to about eighteen on that other back one's at eighteen, so it's just easy to do this one. Yeah. That other one was bad. Yeah, it was a pain. Alright, check that out now. Click to zero. Yep. Eighteen. Sweet. Put the valve cap on. I was holding it in my hand the whole time. Well, that's good. Cool. So this is our uh, this is our Hilux. We've just had this a new. One too? Yeah, that one there too. We've just had a new bull bar put on it the other day. Uh, we've also got the winch installed. We'll do a bit of a, a run around of the um, rig at a later date. Also put a, a two inch lift in it. Got some uh, adjustable suspension in there, so we're just today we're going to have a bit of a play around with the suspension as well. Try and work it out. It's set a bit hard on the front at the moment, so we're just going to work out how to um, adjust it and get it in the right spot. I've got the back set up pretty good. Pretty happy with that, the way we were um, going over bumps and whatnot. So, yeah, it's looking good. Hard to line it up. Oh, 
How's it down there, Jess? Not very good. <laughs> I broke it. Don't do that. Give Did me a I look. break it? Give me a look. Why isn't it doing it? Give me a look. So, what would be your top three tips for driving on the beach? Uh, first one would be correct tyre pressures. That is, you know, a must. Um, there's no way you can cruise through here. It's, um, you know, road pressures. It is pretty soft. Second would be a bit of momentum. You know, you only really want to back off the accelerator um, if you're on the hard stuff. Don't back off in the soft stuff unless you're going. You know, you feel like you're stuck and you can't go any further, or you don't want to bog yourself down any further than what you already are. And tip three: right foot. <laughs> Give it some right, you reckon? Yeah. Nice little spot for some morning tea. This is Poverty Creek. <laughs> How's your lamby with the cream in it? Cream and jam, it's actually pretty good. Really loving it. <laughs> Thanks for that big mouthful of food. Mm. I'm sure everyone wanted to see that. Whoa. So we're at Poverty Creek campsite. So I just wanted to show you what is here. Um, there's the dump site for the caravans. And then these are some of the amenities up here. Oh, spider web. So there's some of the toilets little sink, male toilets, and there's a couple of showers here as well. Just looks like it's cold water, I would say. Not drinking water, but a nice little shower there. So it's a pretty big site, to be honest. There's like lots of places heaps of picnic tables around by the look of it and it looks like most of the sites also have fire pits now we're here on a monday which means that there's not really many people here at all everyone's probably packed up for the weekend how beautiful is this like surrounded by all these big gum trees and then the water is literally just through there, three minute walk. So just an example of what the campgrounds at Poverty Creek in Bribey Island looks like. So just make sure that you're aware when you come to Bribey Obviously you need a vehicle permit, but if you want to camp, you have to pre-book on the website. Um, all these sites over here on this side are for the camper trailers. So if you have a camper trailer, there's a couple of people over there. But it's a pretty big site. Say hi, Nick. Hi. 
<laughs> what did you say? So this is Poverty Creek. <laughs> hey guys, so right now we have just got to Lighthouse Lighthouse Beach or Lighthouse Lookout. Um, just wanted to show you, it's a day use area. Took us, we stopped a couple of times, but took us nearly about an hour and a half, two hours to get here. But, so this is the day use area. There's a little tap over there for cleaning stuff. It's got like a per pergola, pergola as they say in America. Um, we're just gonna get a little picnic and barbecue started. And look at the water just here. And a little sandy beach. How nice is that? So flat. So good. Okay, we're at Lighthouse Reach and we're having a picnic. Um, we are going to be having some meat and salad wraps with halloumi. Yum. So Nick is cooking at the barbecue. That's sizzling away. So we put that on first. We've just sliced the halloumi up nice and thin. And hot tip, always make sure that you get some paper towel and um, put that down so the, um, the water from all the halloumi can soak up. So I'm going to use this, please. And Nick's going to hold the camera for me. Thank you. So, for the salad, we've got some carrots, capsicum, because Nick likes capsicum, and I've got an avocado, um, and just a baby spinach, halloumi, and I also bought some mustard, um, not mustard, some hummus as well. So, I like my carrots grated. Nice and Easy. Do you have any carrots today, Nick? Yeah, I'll have some carrots in thank you. So I guess you could probably obviously grate it with the skin on, but the skin on takes yucky. So <laughs> I ha always have to feel a carrot. Alright. Just, are you happy for me to slice the capsicum? Yeah, yeah, a couple of slices, that's fine. I only need two or three slices. Make it four. Keep it even. Okay. I'm just going to chop this whole thing. You can decide how much you want to put in it, and I've got a tub for us to have after. Ooh. The wind. from the fruit shop this morning for three bucks. So cute, perfect size for a sandwich. Got a couple of chicken kebabs, some halloumi, and a little lamb kofta for Jess. Beautiful. Alright, that's ready to get out. My family's probably thinking Jess is going to have salad on a wrap. Yes, family, I am. Because that's what I do these days. I'm a grown-up. <laughs> and that's ready. What are you doing? You're I'm drawing the plates. I learnt this trick in Africa when I was bush camping around there with my tour group. We weren't allowed to use the tea towel because that would spread germs. So... <laughs> You, you, you would had to dry by doing the fan. Oh, I reckon they were just pulling. I reckon they were just pulling your leg. <laughs> I did it for like thirty days throughout. Oh, Africa. I bet, and I bet they're all there laughing at you too. Yeah. <laughs> but look, it's pretty much dry. Almost. Well done. I still got to do it a bit. 
can do that on a hot day in front of me. It would work just nicely. <laughs> Readjust it. Get it spot on. And I've got to do it again. You might have to move it back a bit too. Uh, what do you do to it? You think it's funny? It's not funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Every time. No, oh, that's good. Okay, so this is Fort Bribey, day use area. There is a toilet and a little shower there in case you need it. Just as an FYI. Oh, better wait for Nick. I'm coming. Here he comes. Okay. So, just while we're walking up, have you enjoyed the trip so far today? Yeah, it's been good. It's been a really good trip. It's um, been nice spending the day with you. What's the best part so far? Teaching me how to four wheel drive yeah. on the sand. Woo! That was a bit stressful. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All good. All you had good. a slight stress attack for one second. Is this right. it? There we go. Oh, we're here. This is it. Is it? There's nothing here. This like is the table. <laughs> There's two ta three tables. Must be there. Where's Buddy Port Bribe? <laughs> oh gotcha. God. I didn't see. <laughs> that was mean. Never. Got a bit of a blowout in my thong. trailer sites in here so looks like 37 to 45 so there's a few camper trailers down here yeah you could go that far I will just go around the loop oh well, looks like it's got a little fire pit 37 so 38 is a camper trailer site this one right here Each other when you when you're camping in here, you know obviously the site. So if you're here on a weekend or something like that, it could be you know pretty busy, and you got to be mindful that you're going to be around other people. So if you don't want to be around other people. This is probably not the best um, location mm. to come in. We've got some toilets. And There's the, dump. the amenities in the dump site there. Bit of a rundown. Showers up the back. So that's 47. That's another camp. Forty-eight. Oh, that's a pretty big site, that one. That one seems to be a bit more secluded by itself. Yeah. Close to the toilets, but like away from the construction. I'm not really sure what site that is down there. Forty-nine. That's another camper trailer one down there. Fifty-two. Fifty-three and forty-nine. 
Yeah, those are the best. Yeah, ones. that's that's you know not a bad site. You don't really have anyone next to you apart from that person there. So if you're here midweek, it's probably pretty I'd good because you're, you're trying really, to book. Yeah. Go for what was it? Forty-four? No, forty-nine and fifty-three. Forty-nine and fifty-three. That's really bad camera there. Sorry. You've got to be um. Remember you gave up me all the time. Yeah. Sorry. Say it again. So forty-nine and fifty-three right here. Um, they're both pretty big um, campsites. You're away from everyone. The only person you would have next to you is obviously the person next to you. <laughs> but if you're here <laughs> midweek, you probably have the whole place to yourself. So, yeah. And easy to just get back onto the beach as well. It's, it's nice to be up here in the dunes because if, if it is windy, it is nice to have that bit of a, a windbreak. Mm. So. But if you don't want to be camping near people, this is probably not the best best spot to go. There are some other campsites down here which are a little bit more secluded. Right on to the beach.